Hey there guys, my name is Zach and welcome to Painting Support Group. Today we're going to be talking about three principles that will help you get your army painted. The first is one that you need to think about before you even pick up a brush and that is what is your army for? Now the models you're seeing in this video are my Night Haunt army and the purpose of this army was to be an opponent against my Sylvaneth in demo games. So it didn't need to win any awards, it needed to be painted quite quickly, uh, but it also needed to look good opposite some quite dark brown Sylvaneth. So this dictated the colour scheme of quite light blue, so it was very obvious which unit was with which army. Um, and a reliance on uh, dry brushing to really um, get it painted nice and quickly. Principle two, set yourself some deadlines. Like I said, this army didn't really have a deadline, but we needed to get it done quickly. So I enlisted the help of my friend Lee, and we managed to paint the whole thousand points just in one day. Obviously a thousand points in a day is a pretty severe deadline, but setting yourself smaller ones to help you get units painted can be really helpful. You might have a large deadline to have a thousand points finished in time for the local tournament, and then break it up into small bits, painting one unit per week maybe giving yourself two for a larger unit. Tell your friends about these deadlines so that they can keep you on track and maybe reward yourself when you manage them. Principle three, spend extra time on your centerpiece models. When you're painting an army, most of the models are going to spend most of their time on a table and only a few of them are going to be picked up and looked at closely. Think about which models in your army are the centerpieces, the really standout models that someone's going to pick up and look at closely. When you're painting them, make sure you give them a few extra details. Spend that little bit of extra time, maybe add a conversion or add an extra layer of highlights to really make them stand out. When people look at these centerpiece models, they'll assume that you gave the same care and attention to every single model in your army. Of course you didn't. There's far too many chain rasps for that. Well, there you have it guys. Those are my three starting principles for when you're planning to paint a new army. What do you think of when you plan a new army? Is there anything that you would give as advice to a new painter who's just starting out? Let me know in the comments what principles guide your painting. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Really love all of the feedback that I've been getting. So if you have any comments, don't keep them to yourself. Do help out and make the channel better by uh, leaving something down below. Thanks, and I'll see you all soon.